Looking to turn a Figma design into a real app? Let's imagine you are browsing through the Figma community and you find an app design that you like, or a client sends you a design they want you to bring it to live with Bravo Studio. If that's the case, this video is for you. Let's choose this awesome real estate design and see how we can quickly braverize it and turn it into a real app. After this video, you will be able to start braverizing any Figma community design as well as your own designs, just like this real estate app. You can find the link to our docs in the video description where you will find all the necessary information on how to structure your Figma design, understand layer hierarchy as well as working with containers to add functionality to your app. In our docs, you will also find our Bravo Tags master list to learn more about all the different functionalities you can add to your project. In this video, we will be focusing on our real estate app homepage, which will display two different lists of properties. One list will be displayed as a horizontal slider, and the other one will be a vertical list displaying two property cards per raw. If you look through our docs, you will find that you can set up different types of app menus. Since the chosen real estate app already has a great tab menu design, let's set that up. When designing for Bravo, you don't need to include your app menu in every screen. Instead, we will create one unique app screen that will contain our menu design and components. To do this, we will add a new app screen container from the Figma design templates. We name our new frame Tab Menu so that we can easily identify the screen in our navigation panel. We then locate our Tab Menu Bravo tag and we add it to our frame name. Now we can move our Design Tab Menu to our dedicated menu screen. It's very important that we also insert our Tab Menu design component into its own container. Now that we have our Tab Menu dedicated screen ready, let's move on to our home page. For this sample app, we won't be needing the search bar nor the filter icon, so we will delete them for now. Moreover, when designing for Bravo, you also don't need to have the native's device, time, and signal icons, since you will be able to see your very own device's live time and signal icons when testing your app with Bravo Vision app. In order to add a fixed top bar for our app, we will add a new container inside our home page. Inside this new container, we will add the current location name and location icon. Moreover, we will copy our top bar hide when scroll Bravo tag, and we will add it to the top bar container layer name, which we just created. The top bar is also a great place to add your app's logo. In our example, we will add our imaginary real estate company name and align it with the location name and icon. Now that we have our top bar ready, let's continue with our home page by bringing up the rest of the page content. Next, let's make our horizontal sliding list functional. We position our list title text component just below our top bar component, and we are ready to braverize our horizontal slider. First, we will add a new container, which will host our property slides. Again, we will copy our required Bravo tag to make our slider functional. This time, we will use our default horizontal slider Bravo tag and add it to our slider container layer name. We pick one of our slides from our design and also wrap this one in a container. Now that we have our property card inside its own container, we can copy and paste this one as many cards we want to have in our horizontal slider. Make sure to add some padding on the right side of the card container so that it creates a sense of space between cards when scrolling. We align them and select them and we move them into our main slider container. You will see that our card slider will get cut, but don't worry. Once we import our design to Bravo Studio, our horizontal scrolling list will be functional. Now, onto our vertical list. First, we will add back our trending shortlets, text title, just below our horizontal slider's main container. Just like we did before, we will add a container that will wrap our property card. Likewise, make sure you add some padding around the card so that there's space between cards. In our sample app, our container will take 50% of our screen width. Once we bind our card's design elements to our external database with the rest of properties, the next property card will be placed automatically on the right side of the container we have added to our Figma design, covering the other 50% of our screen. Lastly, we will add our container Bravo tag to our card container layer name. This way, Bravo will understand this is a bindable design element. Now that we have our home page ready, let's adjust our properties detail page. For this example, we got rid of the text blocks under the property features, and we turned it into a single text block that will contain our database's features, text's content. We have also updated the layer name so that when we bind our design element with the external data point, we can easily identify it among all the other design elements. Similarly, we will update those design elements layer names within our property cards 
so that we can also easily identify them when binding them with our external data. Finally, we are ready to make some magic. We import our Figma design in Bravo Studio by copying our Figma design URL. In Bravo Studio, we create a new project, paste our Figma design file, and hit Connect Bravorized Figma file. Now that we have created our app, we can start testing in Bravo Vision. For our sample app, we have created a quick database with Xano as our backend, where we store all our real estate properties information. We created our get requests to retrieve all of the data that we then binded with our design elements. And voila, a fully functional app in a matter of minutes from a free Figma community design file.